Hello everyone from the Qatari Peninsula. We're at the Laseo International Circuit, just a few kilometers from the city of Doha. These shots coming to us live from the grid where technicians and engineers are carrying out final checks on the bike before the start. The sun has set over the Qatar desert and the sand brought onto the track by the wind will make it difficult for riders to get good grip during the early stages of the race. Exciting lap complete. It's important to have warmed up the tyres or they could have problems on turns two and six. All eyes on the lights now. Everything's ready for the start of the Qatar Grand Prix.
While we wait for the cameras to take us to Park Ferme to meet today's stars, let's take a quick look at the final results of this race.
Hey you guys, did a little bit different this day guys, so I thought I'd do a gameplay on MotoGP um, 22, this one is guys, so this is not 23. I just want to go back guys to an image, because this looked really realistic here guys, so where is it? Like, look at that. Look at that. That is nuts. To be honest with you guys, that really is. That looks amazing. But basically, guys, what I'm doing a game plan on this one is I wanted to pick up the third one, guys. Well, the third one. The third one on PlayStation 5, basically, guys, which is MotoGP 23. Um, but the price is just out of my range at the moment, guys. And I got this one brand new and sealed, guys, for £10. £10. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but at £10, I weren't going to leave it behind. Um, I, I weren't going to get this one because I got 21 I want to get 23 really bad because I said the improvements of graphics and that, guys. But to be honest, it's pretty too bad. Now, obviously, this race was cringe because I'm not very good at these games, guys. There's no word of a lie. I've never been good at these games. I only play them, guys, for fun, basically. I get a good enjoyment out of playing them. I've always loved motorbikes. Well, I don't have anything to really do with vehicles, cars, motorbikes, anything, guys. I love. I'm a petrol head. But, um, yeah, so... Off the bat, guys, the game is really, really good. I like it. Um, if you're like me, guys, and you can't afford the latest game or the latest version of the game, guys, and you can get this one cheap, you think to yourself, but I want the newer one, this one will satisfy for a while, guys. This is really good. Um, obviously, I've got all the most easiest of difficulties. You can rewind, as you saw. I had to do that a few times because I fell off like a dickhead. But... Overall, guys, I think the game's really good. And I said, for brand new and sealed for £10, guys, I've seen... You can get F122 for around 12 and 13 pound new and sealed as well, guys. And you know what, guys? You never know. I might take a plunge on that as well because that 13 pounds, when you look at it, 60 pound for the latest one. All right, the graphics and something might not be the exact same. There might be some improvements, but at the end of the day. I could wait for a price drop and get the, get the older one. I don't mind. I don't mind. That's what I do with this one, guys. Now, we'll be getting more GP23 at some point. I'll probably look for it pre-owned or something like that, guys. I mean, I try to get my games brand new, but needs must, guys. You know, we can't all afford fucking brand new all the time. But like I said, guys, this game was really, really, really good. I mean, I can't believe it, guys. I mean, look at the detail. Absolutely nuts. I mean... At that point there, guys, if you were going slow enough like this, you'd actually think that's a uh, real TV, like you're watching something on the replay, and that if, you, if you just walk straight past without taking too much of a glance. Really, really good. Obviously, I had to use Valentino Rossi, guys. Always liked the bikes he used to ride. I say used to ride because he's retired now, ain't he, but... Uh, anyway, guys, um, I didn't want to keep you too long in this one, guys. We're going to go across the line, and I'll end the video, guys, pretty much with uh, the winning celebration where they chuck champagne and that lot over each other and whatnot. I'd imagine it's still in this game. It was in 21, so why it wouldn't be in this one? I wouldn't have a clue. But, yeah, guys, overall, guys, I think the game's really good. Like I said, for £10, you can't go wrong, guys. So if you're looking to get MotoGP and you can't afford the latest one, get this one, guys, get this one. Classification of this race. The riders are enjoying a well deserved lap of honour and will soon be joining them in Park Ferme for the usual post race interview. So we'll get to that, guys. So, like I said, guys, after the um, celebration and all, I will end the video there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I know it was a short one, guys, a bit different. I just wanted to uh, show you my first race in the game, guys. Really cringe. I know I kept falling off and I weren't the best. But I think if you've got it down packed, you know, and you're really good at the game, I think you could make that look so realistic. Like, if you could, could turn perfect on every corner and that. I'll, I'll get better if I practice. I mean, I was really good at MotoGP uh, 19 on PS4. I got really good on that one. But I did play that a lot. And then I haven't played one properly since then, really. So I need to get back into it, guys. But anyway, guys, I'm going to mute the mic, guys. Watch the celebration will end, and then I'll end the video, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. The camera is taking us into Park Ferme to see the race winner, who is rightly celebrating with his mechanics. If he continues like this, it will be difficult for his rivals to keep up with him.
Wait, what happened to the champagne part, guys? Okay, never mind, guys. Never mind. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.